What's up, awesome YouTubers? Ryan1988 or Justin back here to do a video for you guys. And in this video, this is going to be a Christmas haul of everything that I got this past Christmas. And I want to show this stuff off to you. Also, this is going to be my video, uh, my seven year mark video. Uh, basically, seven years ago, I posted my very first video, which I will leave a link down below. Um, it was my very first one I ever made. Uh, before that, you know, I love the community. I love watching people's videos. Some still here today. Some of their, some are gone now. But I watched a lot of their videos, and I always wanted to make videos. Um, for a long time, I couldn't though because I didn't have the right camera and stuff would go wrong. But finally, I got my very first camera, and I still have that camera actually. I don't use it now, but I have it, you know, for pictures. And I was able to make videos, and throughout the seven years I made videos, and I deleted most of them. Some of them just really didn't have good quality, and I wanted to kind of start fresh and new in some areas. Um, and so I deleted a lot of my older videos, but I still have my very first video up, and some of my earlier videos are still there. Uh, just because, you know, those are memories for me, and I want to have those up. But I want to thank you guys so much for the support you've given me through the seven years I've been here on YouTube making videos. It doesn't feel like seven years, um, that's just crazy, but I've had a lot of fun here on YouTube. I love watching people's videos, I love commenting, um, and you know, I, do, I love watching people who have the same passion that I do, which is movies. So for me, it's awesome, and I want to keep making videos and hopefully make a lot more videos within the next year to come. Uh, this year alone, I've been really busy starting my bachelor's degree, working, graduating with my associates. So that, you know, has taken up a lot of my time. But I want to start doing videos at least once a week and do one video at least a week. And, you know, come up with topical videos, movie related, other topics. Uh, but mostly stick to movie related videos because that's what, that's what I love watching. I'm in a movie community and I have a lot of fun. Um, so look out for more videos to come, and I'm going to try to post more in the next year, 2016. Um, but once again, guys, thank you so much for your support. The past seven years has been awesome for me. I love making videos, and, you know, I hope you guys enjoy more videos to come for me in the future. So, going to get started with this, and by the way, if I don't make a video before uh, New Year's, uh, Happy New Year's to you all. I hope you guys have a great one. And here's to 2016. And my first video will be in 2016 when I do my Q&A. I originally was going to do it, you know, the Q&A as my seven year mark. But I decided instead of doing that to get this Christmas haul out of the way and show you the movies that I got on Christmas or around Christmas. So I'm going to get started. The first one I got was a film that I saw in theaters, and I loved it. And re-watching it again the other night, I still love this movie. I think it's hilarious. And it really surprised me because I was not a fan of the trailers. Um, you know, I thought, man, they're just going to ruin the series. But, you know, it actually, you know, is one of the better ones in the series, in my opinion. And it's the new Vacation. Um, yeah, I thought this was hilarious. I, I was really surprised at how much I loved this in theaters. And then re-watching it, I still love the movie. I think it has some really good funny moments. I think it's underrated and it doesn't deserve the hate that it gets. You know, it's not Christmas Vacation or the original Vacation. Those are my two favorite ones. But I'd say this is my third favorite film in the Vacation series. And then it's, you know, European Vacation and Vegas Vacation. Um, those are the only ones I count as vacation movies. The Eddie's Christmas one that was terrible. I don't even count that as a uh, Christmas or a vacation movie. Um, this is my third favorite in the series. I love the film, and you know, like I said, it gets a lot of hate, and I don't think it deserves as much of hate that it gets. Um, it's never going to be the original, but for me, it's up there with the original and Christmas Vacation. So, love the film. The next one I got was one that I have not seen yet, but I was happy to get it, and it is Ant-Man. So, I have not watched it yet. I wasn't too eager to see this one in theaters. For me, it wasn't one of those comic book movies where I needed to see it in theaters. You know, I just said, you know, I'll wait till Blu-ray or DVD and check it out. So, I plan to watch it around Christmas break and give this one a watch. I'm excited. 
Um, I love Paul Rudd. I think he's a great actor, and I'm really looking forward to seeing him as Ant-Man. And I really have no idea of the character Ant-Man, you know. For me, it was kind of like going into Iron Man. When I first saw the first Robert Downey Jr. Iron Man movie in 2007 or 2008, I had no idea what I, who Iron Man was. I never followed the comics. But I wound up loving that movie, and I still love that movie today. Um, so I'm hoping I have the same reaction with Ant-Man. Um, I hear good things about this, so pick this one up. And I love the black case that it came with, so awesome. Uh, the next one I got, I saw this movie in theaters, and I think it's a great movie. Um, does it have flaws? Yes, but I still really enjoy it, and it is The Gift. Uh, my only kind of complaint, um, and it's not really a huge complaint, was the ending. Like, I wanted more from this, because when I saw this in theaters, I kept watching it, I kept watching it. And I was like, okay, something's going to happen, and they're going to explain some things, and they really didn't. But it's one of those movies where you you, you finish the movie, you get out of the theater when you finish watching it. Um, you sit down with friends and you talk about it, and that's what me and some friends did. We talked about what we thought the ending was, what, what we thought happened. And uh, so, yeah, um, it was a great movie, and I wanted to get it, so I picked this one up. So, yeah, The Gift. I recommend it. It's a good suspense thriller. The next one I got is one of my favorite Disney movies of all time. I absolutely love this movie, and it's Aladdin. So, I had to pick that one up. Um, everybody knows Aladdin. I have not seen this movie in years, so I'm going to watch it soon and give it a watch on Blu-ray. This was always a Disney movie where I kept, you know, questioning why they never were, why they never had released this movie yet on Blu-ray. That's a tongue twister, I'm sorry. Um, for the longest time, this wasn't available on Blu-ray here in the U.S. I know the U.K. got a Blu-ray release, but, you know, I always thought, you know, Disney needs to bring this one out, and it took years and years for them to do that, uh, but they finally released it, and so I was happy to get Aladdin on Blu-ray. So, can't wait to watch this. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. Uh, the next three are Criterion Blu-rays, and I don't really collect Criterion Blu-rays unless it's a movie that I really want to get or that I love. Um, and these are three movies that I've seen before, and I love all three of these, and I got these for Christmas. Uh, the first one is Videodrome, David Cronenberg's Videodrome. And I love that artwork. I think it's better than my old DVD artwork. Loaded with bonus features. What I like about this edition, and I'm pretty sure you've seen this before, is it has the classic videotape that's on there, and it says, Long Live the New Flesh. So awesome. And it has a booklet and the Blu-ray there. So I love this edition. I have not watched any of the bonus features or the quality of this movie, but with Criterion, the ones I've seen, I've, you know, they're awesome, so, you know, they can't, they don't do wrong, in my opinion, so, uh, Video Drum, had to pick that one up. Um, the next one I got, and I actually watched the movie on Blu-ray Blu last night, and I love this film. I, I've always loved this movie, but, you know, watching it on Blu-ray really makes me appreciate this movie, and it is The Brood. This is one of the creepiest films I've ever seen. Um, it still creeps me out. There's moments in the film that I was kind of cringing at last night, because um, it's a scary movie, uh, in my opinion. Um, I love The Brood. It's my probably my favorite David Cronenberg movie of all time. Um, I think I could sit down and watch this one more than any of his other films, uh, in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, I had to get this one, and it's loaded again with bonus features. I watched one bonus feature where they talked to Art Hidley, who played, uh, he was one of the lead guys in this movie. He played the dad of the little girl, and they also interviewed the little girl in this. So that was a really cool interview. Um, there's a documentary on here that I want to watch where they talk to some of the cast and the crew of The Brood and other David Cronenberg's, you know, older films. So I'm looking forward to watching that, but yeah, The Brood, I had to pick that one up. And there's the inside of this one as well, and it comes with the poster, but I'm not going to really pull it out. But yeah, just awesome. Um, the next one is just one of my all-time favorite movies, a great thriller, and this, you know, 
This is my favorite Brian De Palma movie. I always go back and forth between Carrie and this, but when it comes down to it, I think while I love Carrie and I think it's a classic film and it's one of my favorite horror films, this is one of my favorite films. I just, I love Dress to Kill and that's the one, Dress to Kill. So this is my favorite. Um, I've come, you know, I've chosen which one I like more and I like this one slightly more. Um, the reason why I like it is when you first see it, it has, you know, a great twist at the end. There's some good suspense there. There's the classic elevator scene. Even though there's a classic prom scene in Carrie, I love the elder s elevator scene uh, in this movie. It's just, it's creepy, it's suspenseful, it's thrilling, um, just awesome. And uh, I wanted to get this one on Blu-ray. I know they have the older Blu-ray out, and when that first came out, I was gonna get it, but I held off getting that one. I was like, I'm happy with the DVD. But when, Cry when Criterion announced that they were releasing it on Blu-ray, I knew I wanted to get that one and uh, got it for Christmas. So Dress to Kill, there's that classic image right there, classic artwork. And once again, this one is loaded with bonus features as well, so just awesome. And from what I've heard, they released uh, the first Blu-ray edition, but it really didn't have good quality. Um, this is the second edition that came out of, from the Criterion Blu-ray of Dress to Kill. So I hear this one has the better picture quality. So Dress to Kill, had to get that one. And the last one I'm going to talk about is my favorite one out of all of them. Um, all of these are great, but this one is just amazing. And this is what I've wanted to get ever since this came out on Blu-ray. Um, I had the DVD version, but, you know, this is one of my favorite TV shows, so I wanted to see it in Blu-ray quality, and it also comes with its prequel, um, Fire Walk With Me, and that is the Twin Peaks box set. So, I love the artwork, I love that you have that classic uh, Laura Palmer high school senior picture where she's smiling and then it kind of breaks, and you have her uh, wrapped in plastic, so just awesome. If you've seen the movie, you know the wrapped in plastic um, saying, so. But uh, yeah, Twin Peaks, this is the entire mystery box set where it comes with the first two seasons, comes with the movie Fire Walk With Me, which is a prequel to the series, um, came out after the series though. So if you want to see Twin Peaks, you've never seen it before, don't watch the movie first because the movie gives away who um, the killer is. And if you don't know what Twin Peaks is, basically the first... The first season and the first half of the second season surround the uh, murder of our lead character, Laura Palmer. And it's basically finding out why she was murdered, who did it, and, you know, it reveals in the second half of the season who killed her. Um, after the second season, they canceled the show. Um, and I think it's just because, you know, after they revealed the murder of Laura Palmer or the murderer, um, it just kind of fell down a little bit, and in my opinion, I loved the first season, and overall I loved the second season, but I think once they reveal who the killer was, um, and they kind of go on to do another story, it slightly goes downhill. It's still an awesome season. season. Season two is still awesome. I prefer the first season, but season two is still awesome overall. I just felt like, you know, I think that was why the show got canceled so quick after uh, season two is because they revealed the killer, you know, in the first half of season two. And when you're kind of invested in this, you know, mystery of this girl being killed and then you, you, you carry that on for, uh, you know, a season and a half and then you reveal everything, you know, people are going to start, you know, losing interest because you're invested and you're hooked in this storyline. But overall, I love this series. It's one of my favorite TV shows. Um, first time I watched this was in 2009, and I was addicted to it. I watched it all summer long, summer of 2009. Um, a guy named BookhouseBoy77, um, Eric, um, he talked about the show and raved about it, and I had to watch it, and I think it's fantastic. Um, just awesome. Uh, the movie itself, it's a good movie. It's not one of my favorites. I think the TV show is better, but it is awesome that they included the movie on Blu-ray as well in this set. Um, the only downfall with this set is that when you open it up, it's kind of, it, it's packaged weird. 
and I don't like the way it is. I'll probably show it off in another video. It's it's kind of it's a pain in the butt to take it out. But um, yeah, the 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 packaging on the inside is probably my only flaw with it. Uh, but besides that, beautiful images. I love the front. I love the back. I love the blue, the dark gloomy colors this has. So for me. I love this show. I cannot wait for the Revival series. We have to wait till 2017, which kind of bugs me because I'm really excited for it. But knowing that David Lynch is directing every episode and he wrote every episode um, and some of the original cast members are coming back, puts a smile on my face because, you know, I just, I loved this show so much. I still love this show. And the fact that they kind of left it and ended the series without really giving it a proper closing always made me mad. So, but uh, Twin Peaks had to get this. So, if you have never seen the show, please go try to check it out somehow. It's amazing. And if you're interested in seeing the new series, um, if they reveal anything from the original series, you might want to watch this before you check out the new series. And don't watch the movie before the new series. Just don't do it because it's going to reveal way too much if you've never seen the actual TV show. So that is gonna be my update guys, my Christmas haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun showing everything off that I got for Christmas. And you know, I'll do updates every so often. I'm not too crazy about them as much. I don't really get as much. This is probably the most I've gotten. And I got like two things on Black Friday and I picked up some little items recently, which I'll show later on in an update, probably in January. But this is the most that I've gotten in quite a while. So that is my update, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And look out for more videos to come in 2016. Look for my Q&A, which I'm going to hopefully post on Sunday. Uh, stay tuned for that. And stay tuned for many more videos to come. And once again, guys, thank you so much for all the support you've given me the seven years while I've been making videos. I really appreciate it. If it wasn't for you guys, and I've said this before, I don't think I'd be on YouTube anymore. Um, I never imagined being on here seven years still making videos. And even though I don't make as many now, I still love making them when I can. And it's always good to take a break every so often as well, but I always come back and I make videos. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you once again. You guys rock. And I will talk to you guys soon. So as always, you guys are awesome. You guys rock. And with the positive, out with the negative, and go eat some Skittles. Alright guys, bye.